Of all the puzzles I've ever seen, this one is my favourite. Belongs to some friends of mine and every time I visit I want to take it down one more time and try it. It consists of just one, two, three, four, five pieces of wood and it's really a giant jigsaw puzzle. Can you tell how the bits go together? Well that bit comes around here and fits in there. Piece number three goes there. I can now stand it upright. Can you tell what it's going to be yet? If you can't, when I put in the fourth piece you'll certainly know. There it is. It's an elephant. Here's the bit I love most of all. Piece number five is a tiny little bit, which is a baby elephant, and it fits right in there. Now, the reason I'm showing you this puzzle is because it uses joints that are very interesting. Let's have a look at them. See those joints there? They lock the pieces together so that you can't pull the two pieces apart. The only way you can get them apart is to slide from side to side. And that reminds me very much of the sort of joints that are sometimes used in making furniture. Have you ever noticed drawers that have joints like that. Look at that. They lock each other together. They're actually called dovetail joints and the reason they're called that is because they look like the shape of the tail of a dove. They're dovetail joints and they're very strong. They hold the pieces of furniture together. Well I have a puzzle here that uses dovetail joints. It's not made of wood, it's made of styrofoam. But look at that. Certainly is a dovetail joint there, isn't it? If I turn it around this side you'll see another dovetail joint there and another one there, and another one around there. Four dovetail joints. How could that possibly be? I want you to work out two things. How can I get the two halves of the block apart? And secondly, how did I make that puzzle? Well, I can't pull the two blocks apart because the dovetail joints just won't allow me to do that. And I can't slide this way, that joint won't allow me to do that. Can't slide this way, that joint won't allow me to do that. There is one thing that I can do though, and that's to slide diagonally. Look at that. It does go backwards and forwards diagonally, and in fact the two pieces come all the way apart. So there's the trick. Instead of the dovetails going from one side to the opposite side, they go diagonally from one side to the next side. That's the trick, but how do you make it? Well, you start with a cube of styrofoam. There we are, an exact cube. And with a marking pen, you come along here, about a third of the way across, then you go back at an angle, and then across there, back at an angle again, and then over to the other side. Then you turn it over, and you do exactly the same thing again. A third of the way across, up on an angle, across, back on an angle, across. Side number three, same thing again. And then side number four, across here, up on an angle, over there. And now we've finished marking out the dovetails on all four sides. But how do we cut the whole thing in two? Well, I'm glad you asked. We use a special saw called a coping saw, which has a very narrow blade so that it can not only cut straight, but it can also turn corners. You start with the block held up on an angle like that. Make sure that the saw is working downwards and that your fingers are well away from the blade, certainly not underneath it. Cut straight down until you reach the first corner on two sides of the cube. There we are. Then turn the whole thing around so that now the blade is cutting downwards along the next line. Once again, check the two sides and make sure that it is following that line until you reach the next corner. Then turn again. Keep on doing that until you're all the way through to the other side of the cube. I have one here that's been cut from one side right through to the other. But will the two halves come apart? Let's see. We try sliding them diagonally and there are the two halves of the puzzle. To complete it, all you need is a piece of sandpaper to smooth the faces and then you can paint it if you like with watercolour or felt pen and you'll have a styrofoam puzzle that will keep your friends amused for ages. If you like you could make the same puzzle out of a block of wood. You need the help of an adult and it'll take you a bit longer. And that's just one of the many wooden puzzles that are around the place. You've seen lots of them haven't you?